Good morning. Today's lecture will be basically on Oceania tourism. Oceania is actually the other name for the smallest continent in the world and is also known as Australia. Oceania basically includes parts of countries like Australia, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, Fiji, Samoa, Tonga, Solomon Islands, Vanuatu and Cook Islands. These are all islands located in the southern hemisphere and are spread across different parts of the southern Pacific Ocean. One of the major tourist attractions in the continent of Oceania is the, is the, is the eastern coastal city of Sydney in Australia. Sydney is the capital of New South Wales and one of Australia's largest cities is best known for its harbour front Sydney Opera House with a distinctive sail-like design, massive Darling Harbour and a smaller circular quay ports are hubs of waterside life with the arched harbour bridge and esteemed Royal Botanic Garden nearby. Sydney Towers outdoor platform the skywalk offers 360 degree views of the massive beautiful city and its suburbs. Sydney Aquarium, Taronga Zoo and Wildlife Sydney Zoo shelter animals like koalas, kangaroos, sharks and snakes. Piermont Sydney Fish Market has a working seafood auction and a restaurant serving the day's catch. There are multiple several dining opportunities all over the majestic city including in Haymarket Chinatown and the restaurants serving the Italian community in Leichhardt. A ferry ride to the harbour is part of the experience in visiting outer Sydney destinations such as Bondi and Manly beaches, both very popular sites for surfing and for, for, and for sunbathing. Next, I would like to come to Melbourne. Melbourne is the coastal capital of the southeastern Australian state of Victoria. At the city centre is the modern Federation Square developed with plazas, bars and restaurants by the Yarra River. Just like Sydney, which is, which is uh, embellished and decorated by the Darling River, here in Melbourne there is the Yarra River. In the South Bank area, the Melbourne Arts Precinct is the site of Arts Centre Mel Center Melbourne, a performing arts complex and National Gallery of Victoria with Australian and indigenous art. Melbourne Museum and a Royal Exhibition Building explore city history and culture. The Immigration Museum and a Chinese Museum provide different cultural perspectives on local settlement while Old Melbourne Gold offers insight into 19th century prison life. A major shopping destination is Queen Victoria Market, a Victorian era building with food stalls. The city's 19th century laneways and shopping arcades are lined with cafes, galleries and boutiques. The Riverside Royal Botanic Gardens shelter 10,000 plus plant species and Yarra Park is also home to the majestic Melbourne Cricket Ground. Next, we would like to talk about Brisbane. Brisbane is located on the northeastern coast of Australia and it is the capital of Queensland. It is a, the, it is a large city located on the bank of the Brisbane River. <coughs> Clustered in its south bank cultural precinct are the Queensland Museum and Science Centre with noted interactive exhibitions. Another South Bank cultural institution is Queensland Gallery of Modern Art among Australia's most contemporary art museums. Looming over the city is Mount Kutha, site of Brisbane Botanic Gardens. Ferries cruise the Winding River. At one end, modern skyscrapers crowd around the restored 1920 city hall. <coughs> Nearby, the Roma Street Parkland is a subtropical garden that's home to native and endangered plants. 
for shopping, the Queen Street Mall is also in the center business district and Zem Street in Fortitude Valley has restaurants and cafes. Further up river, the Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary offers visitors the chance to hold koalas and hand feed the kangaroos. Out in Morton Bay, North Stradbroke Island is home to an aboriginal settlement, a former convict station and shipwrecks. Next is Auckland. Auckland is the biggest city in the beautiful country of New Zealand and it is based around two large harbors in a major city yeah, and is located in New Zealand's North Island. In the center, the iconic sky tower has views of Viaduct Harbor which is full of super yachts and lined with bars and cafes. Auckland Domain, the city's oldest park, is based around an extinct volcano and home to the formal winter gardens near downtown Mission Bay Beach has a seaside prominent. The island nation's Maori and Polynesian history is explored at Auckland Museum and Otara's Polynesian Market in South Auckland sells local foods and crafts. The Ponsombi area's hip boutiques and the international designer stores along Nufield Street offer more shopping options. Next, if we talk about the Gold Coast, the Gold Coast is a metropolitan region located just in the south to the south of Brisbane on Australia's eastern coast. It's famed for its long sandy beaches, surfing spots, and elaborate systems of inland canals and waterways. It's also home to theme parks such as Dreamworld, SeaWorld, and Wet and Wild, inland hiking trails, crisscross Lemington National Parks, mountain ridges, and valleys, and home to rare birds and rainforest. The Q1 building, with its Skypoint observation deck, towers over surfers Paradise Beach, which has a vibrant nightlife scene, a beachfront market, and casinos. Surf breaks such as Snapper Rocks and Barley Heads are among the most popular in the country. The David Flay Wildlife Park protects emus, kangaroos, and koalas. Other national areas include Tambourine National Park with waterfalls and trails, and Tambourine Rainforest Skywalk, and Eco Park with elevated boardwalk through the trees. Perth. Next, you talk about Perth. Perth is the capital of Western Australia and is located on the Swan River, it meets the southwest coast. Sandy beaches line its suburbs, and a huge riverside Kings Park and Botanic Gardens on Mount Eliza offer sweeping views of the city. The Perth Cultural Centre houses the state ballet and opera companies and occupies its own central precinct, including a theatre, library, and an art gallery of Western Australia. Central Perth also has the interactive Sky, Sky Tech Science Centre. Perth means displays of gold birds and nuggets and barrack squares, glass bell tower, with its own viewing platform. Shopping is concentrated in pedestrianized Murray and Hay streets with high-end boutiques on King Street. The neighboring 19th century port of Fremantle draws, draws visitors to its craft markets, an 1850s prison and seafood restaurants in a fishing boat harbor. The shoreline north of Popart is known as the Sunset Coast. It's home to family-friendly family Cottleso Beach, popular snorkel inside Marmion Marine Park, and trike beach with large waves for surfing. Adelaide in South Australia's most cosmopolitan coastal capital. Its ring of parkland on a river torrents is home to renowned museums such as the Art Gallery of South Australia, displaying expensive collections including noted indigenous art and a South Australian museum devoted to natural history. The city's Adelaide Festival is an annual international arts gathering with spin-offs including fringe and fringe and film events. Adelaide is very no, well known for its many sporting events including Australian rules football, motorsports and tennis. 
and the lead Oval Cricket Stadium has hosted cricket matches since 1871 and is one of the most remarkable cricket grounds in, in, in cricket history. And the city's heart is Victoria Square and vibrant 19th century central market specializing in products. The Glen Lake Beach neighborhood on Holfast Bay has native dolphin and seal populations plus cycling trails. Adelaide is also a popular base for exploring Barossa and Clare Valley wine country and Adelaide Hills where the Mount's lofty summit overlooks the coast and Kangaroo Islands wildlife and beaches. I would like to conclude by suggesting that Oceania is indeed a traveler's paradise and tourists from different parts of the world come to visit the beautiful landscapes, beaches, forests and hills located here in large numbers every year. Oceania offers a plethora of opportunities for tourism activities in one form or the other. Thank you.